Howdy. In a few days, I'm heading back over to the US and on this trip, I'm gonna be riding the Idaho backcountry discovery route. And I thought I'd just show you um, what sort of camera and audio gear I'm taking in order to um, do that trip. So here's what's in my bag from a photographic perspective. Okay, this is the kit that I'm taking. So this is actually a supported ride, which means that I won't be carrying um, camping gear and luggage on the bike. So I can actually be um, a little bit freer with my camera gear and um, put that in the panniers. So let's start off with, um, with the drone. So this is, um, I've got this drone mounted on a, um, this drone is mounted on a Moscomoto um, uh, mounting rack. So that'll just slide straight into a wedge on the, um, on the back uh, case. And if we have a look at what's in here, um, so you can see I've modified this. I've, I've got the, um, the actual Skydio. Uh, I carry three batteries with the Skydio. It's got the, um, the controller. Um, I've got the beacon, which will be mounted on my tank bag. I've got tons of spare props. Um, I also have here um, a set of ND filters for the Skydio. Um, and then I've got my, I've got my um, mirrorless camera. So this, this is, this is my uh, X-T4 and um, you know, it's an amazing camera and I'm, I'm taking two lenses for it. So this is a 50 mil lens um, at f1.4 and the reason I love this lens is this lets me get those really cinematic shallow depth of field shots. So if I'm interviewing people or I'm doing creative shots around the um, campsite, then um, I'll be using this camera. Also, you know, panoramic photos, if I want to make any prints, it'll all be done from here. So the nice thing about this is it just mounts beautifully onto the back of the bike and I can access the drone um, pretty quickly. And this is actually a landing pad so that the Skydio will actually self land on the back of this, which makes it pretty quick for launch and retrieval. I can launch the Skydio without getting off the bike. I just pull over. So that's, um, that's uh, two cameras. Then if we have a look, um, here's my main sort of GoPro bag. And um, I've got four cameras in here. So I've got uh, my main camera here, which is the, oops, it's probably broken now, which is um, the GoPro Hero 9. And that's in a media um, mod. So I can um, plug in uh, microphone audio in there and it's still pretty much waterproof. Um, I then have my GoPro Hero 8. Um, and that's in a cage so that I can mount um, ND filters onto it. For some reason, when they designed the GoPro 8, they took away the ability to natively mount um, ND filters. So I've got to use this stupid cage. Um, and uh, so this one will be my sort of my kind of B-roll camera. So I'll be shoot, putting, mounting this in different positions on the bike and just getting, you know, shots down low, shots of the wheels, shots, um, you know, different sort of shots, probably on the back of my helmet as well. Um, I'll be using that. Then in my jacket pocket, I carry this little Osmo camera, which I love. Um, and the Osmo is a, is a gimbal stabilized camera so that I can just grab it um, out of my pocket and that'll be my sort of run and gun sort of camera, um, which I'll be using for, um, you know, just, uh, any sort of shots where I don't want to use the GoPro. And I'm taking, I'm taking a 360 degree camera um, because I want to actually do some more experimentation with it. And funnily enough, um, while I've got the GoPro Max, uh, Insta360 approached me and said, hey, would I, would I want to go and try one of their, their um, Insta360 cameras? So I'm actually going to leave that at home and they're going to send me a, um, a much slimmer, much sleeker 360 camera which I think will be better for um, motorcycle uh, 360. Um, then in this one, this is my, this sort of doubles up as, as my, um, where I keep my batteries and chargers for GoPro. And I also have uh, my audio gear in here. So I've got um, a set, a little set. So I've got in here a set of um, Rode radio microphones. So I can put that on the camera and I can put a lapel mic into the other one of those. So I have a, a lapel mic, 
Um, and that's my, pretty much my, my entire audio setup. And I've just got charging cables and chargers here. Um, so that's my audio. And then in my tank bag, um, I have a spare lens. So this is the lens for my, um, for my uh, mirrorless camera. Let's just get into that. So there's a 50 mil. This is, this is a um, uh, 18, 18 to 55 mil um, zoom lens. So that's a good all round zoom lens for my mirrorless camera. And then in here, I have um, ND filter for my mirrorless camera. That's a variable ND filter, so I can just adjust that to get that f1.4. I've got, um, I've got uh, these are ND filters for my Hero 9. Then these are a couple of ND filters for my Hero 8. I've got a, I think an ND16 and an ND32 for my 8. Um, and then I've got my inReach. This is for, my, um, for mounting my beacon. So um, when I've got my tank bag on, I'll let, you can see where, where I, ca I, I sort of cable tie that on so that when I'm riding, my beacon is right in front of me on the tank bag. And then um, I'm taking, because I, I, I'm, I've got the luxury of space and I don't have to worry, I've got a really nice sort of portable um, lightweight aluminium tripod. So I'll be taking that with me. Uh, this is um, one of my main GoPro mounts for the bike. So this clamp lets me just clamp it really quickly onto any part. And then I've got a ram adjuster and I can put the GoPro um, on the end of that. Uh, this little Joby stick is quite useful. Um, you know, it, it sort of serves as a mini tripod and that extends as a, um, as a sort of selfie stick as well. I don't do much selfie stuff, but uh, it's so light and so small that it's quite useful. And then this is my homemade rig. And um, this, I'm going to experiment with the 360 camera. So basically, um, this was an old breadboard, but I'm going to stick that down the, down the backpack of my, um, my uh, climb backpack, my hydration pack. And then, let's see if I can do this. This little, this little thing adjusts, and I can actually essentially run a boom out the back. And I'm going to put the, um, oops, get that. I can put the, the GoPro, mount the GoPro, I'm um, sorry, not the GoPro, the Insta360 on this so that I've actually got this kind of boom arm hanging off the back of me and this thing can swing around. So this is kind of an experiment. I want to just see um, if I can get some interesting 360 shots by having the camera mounted over, over the back of my shoulder. And then just another bracket here, which um, lets me take just this one arm so I can actually just mount that pretty much anywhere on the bike. And that will allow um, this arm to hang off and I can put the 360 camera there. So that's what's in my bag. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to riding this incredible backcountry discovery route through Idaho. And I'll tell, tell you more about that um, closer to my ride, which is about uh, two weeks away.